Let's consider this question. To solve this problem, I'm going to keep this constant and differentiate this. If you differentiate x squared, you're going to get 2x. And if you differentiate 3, you're going to get 0. However, I'm going to let the 0 out. Next, I will put a plus. Next, I'm going to keep this constant. And I'm going to differentiate this. Differentiating x to the power of 3, I'm going to have 3 x squared and differentiating 4 which is a constant I'm going to get 0 however I'm going to let the 0 out next expand the bracket that is 2x multiply x to the power of 3 you are going to get 2x to the power of 4 next 2x multiply by 4 you are going to get 8x. Next, remember the plus. Next, 3x to the power of 2. Multiply x to the power of 2. You are going to get 3x to the power of 4. Next, 3x squared multiply by 3. You are going to get 9x squared. Next, 2x to the power of 4 can add 3x to the power of 4 and you will get 5x to the power of 4. Next is the 9x to the power of 2 and 8x. Nothing else can add up. Hence, this is our final answer. From the options, our answer is D. This is Calculus. Check out for all pre-calculus and calculus videos, including many other helpful videos. These are recommended video topics in differentiation and also some suggested video topics in integration, including their applications. To solve differentiation and integration problems efficiently, always remember these formulas and notations. including pre-calculus video topics. To locate all these videos, follow the link on the screen. I will see you in the next video.